Hello and welcome to another episode of Borg Tries to Fix It. I know it's been a while, but I've been really busy with a bunch of other things. Um, but anyway, we're getting back. Um, if you remember last time I said next was going to be the fenders. Um, so we're going to get the um, fenders ready to get put back on the car. And actually the most work has to be done on the passenger side fender. So let me bring you in and I'll kind of show you what we're going to be doing um, before we get it back on the car. So let's do this. Okay, so <clears throat> in 1968 and 1969, the Oldsmobile Cutlass had a really cool option. Well, it wasn't an option, it was on all of them. It was a piece of trim that rode along the fender all along the length of the car. Now, if you've been paying attention in the videos, this car does not have the holes for the trim anywhere else on the car. Not on the doors, not on the rear quarter panels, not even on the other fender. It is only on this fender. And I do not do not have all the pieces of trim for this car. So um, getting them is, they're pretty much unobtainium. You can't find these things anywhere. And when you do, they're ridiculously expensive. There's people that want, you know, thousand, two thousand dollars for a complete set of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch these holes on this fender. Um, and if in the future I do get the pieces to put on, I've decided I'm just going to use the 3M um, double-sided tape that they use for most of the trim on newer cars. Um, and that way I'm not going to have to drill a bunch of holes in the rest of the car to do this. The other thing we have to patch is this was where the... Um, the antenna for the radio would have gone. We've deleted that and we have a internal antenna inside the car. So we're just going to patch this right in here. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll put a little filler over that. And then this will look really nice. I think so first step is going to be to use the welder and get these plugged up. So we'll start with that. Okay. To do this, we're going to use this. It's a little piece of copper with a couple of magnets on. And what it does is you put this behind it where the hole is and it sits up on there so that you have the copper backing plate. The weld will not stick to the copper and it'll just make sure it's flat on the other side. It also allows it to dissipate the heat so it doesn't bend up the sheet metal. Um, just makes life a little bit easier. So we're gonna use that so you'll see me putting that behind each of these as we move down. Um, and then we'll fill these up and then uh, we'll see how they look. Let's do this.
Okay, let's take a look how it turned out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe a little pinhole in that one, that's okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. And this was the big one that we put that piece in. So, probably need to put a little bit of body filler on those and blend and everything, but at least, you know, that hard part's done and we can probably put it on the car and deal with the uh, body filler later. So, pretty happy with the results. You know, I wouldn't say I'm getting better at the welding, but uh, it's coming out okay as long as I have a grinder very close by. So, anyway, that's a, I mean, easy project. It still took me, you know, most of a day, but um, it turned out okay, and uh, now we can get it on the car. Um, so, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.